Next one, beware of rottenness. This one is very strange. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. We bless our pastors or monthly, at least one, one of them, the, the, my principal pastor. Monthly, not that uh, monthly. Not, not, not January alone, no. January can be a bit more like a special. Monthly. And God keeps increasing us. Believe in the Lord your God, you'll be established. Believe also his prophets, you'll be established. We give them things. They didn't ask for it, we honor them. He that gives to a prophet will never lack. Because what they pronounce on you happens for you. And I've been doing that since university days. Chris. 3,000 naira from my income as a student. 3,000 to someone like Bishop Oedepo. 3,000. Then one day it became 20,000 when I graduated from school many years ago. So that's it's not this time. We just, so, so when people see things exploding around us, you should tell them, I'm not a thief. It's harvest. Because the, the, the overwhelming harvest of those, some of those things are coming close. But people will start persecuting. Look at, look at them. I don't know what they are using. That is what we are using. 3,000. 3,000 as a patri student. So, sir, I, I love you, sir. Ah, okay, God bless you. And then he gave 5,000. And then 20,000. That's not my tithe. That's not my seat to the poor. And now it has gone into hundreds of thousands and millions. I'm telling you something. I may not say this on a Sunday morning. I can say it on a the, on the Thursday evening. Millions. Joyfully, you write it. Ah, I pray that seed will grow in your hands. You know, when seeds grow in your hands, fruits grow in your hands too. Let's go on. Beware of rottenness. It is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you and such sexual immorality as is not even named among the Gentiles, that a man has his father's wife. Now, Paul was dealing with a case here, uh, Austin. They were, they were immoral. But one particular guy was even sleeping with his father's wife. Verse 2. 2, 2. And you are puffed up, and I'm not rather mourn that he who has done this deed might be taken away from among you. Verse 3. 3. For indeed, as absent in body, but present in spirit, have already judged as though I was our present, him who has done this thing. Verse 4. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, when you are gathered together along with my spirit, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, verse 5, deliver such a one. To Satan, to, for the destruction of the flesh, that's death, that's sickness, that his spirit may be saved. This is one reason why some Christians die. Rottenness, some kind of sin, and they stay in it. Can we have this verse in another version? So that's why you don't enjoy living in sin. It can lead to death. Premature death. He said, deliver such a one. I mean, that they are even delivering the word of Satan. Is he, is he okay? Is he, is, he, is he safe? For the destruction of the flesh. That destruction of the flesh is one reason why some people die. In hope that his spirit may be rescued and restored at judgment day so he can, be, he can still make heaven. But let him die on time. So I, I tried to define it. I said, beware of rottenness. It starts with little temptation with pornography. And then you keep going. And then you start sleeping around or doing some things until you are in a sodomic state. It's dangerous. You can open the door for satanic destruction. It's time to let go. And it could be rottenness in stealing. Lying. And then you go deeper in those things as a Christian, you are opening the door to Satan. So we are talking about quick to forgive and quick to repent. You understand? You make a mistake, get out of it because you love the Lord, because you fear the Lord. 
Stop trying to please people on social media. Be well. When, ta- when this thing happens, nobody helps. Be well because some, a lot of us are living for the gram. Letting them know I can do it. Me too, I, I'm, 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 I'm there. Be careful. That is vanity. Release this man over to Satan for the destruction of his rebellious flesh in hope that the spirit may be rescued. Acts chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. It was what happened to Ananias and Sapphira too. That's the unrottenness. You now come and lie practically to Peter. Lie, lie straight. Verse 1, Acts 5. So that rottenness covers many grounds. Immorality, sodomy, uh, any kind of you know, saying that you now begin to drive yourself into it. it. And the challenge is, when some people are in those things, people don't know. They only know when they die. They now be saying it's a good person. Ah, that, that lady, oh, eh, do you know what she was doing? Do you know? It's a good person. Who, who defines who is good? Shala, who? I'm not saying that people that died, that they are bad people in that sense. That's about touching different areas. But never think somebody's good. You are, you are not the one to define. Never. Never. Some people you think bad are so great. And some people you think are very good. They are very bad. They hide many things underneath the skin. What they do between 12 midnight and 2 a.m. will shock you. What they devour in the media that nobody's watching will shock you. Sin is a bottomless pit. The earlier you rescue yourself, the better. You still want 1,000 today. If you don't work on it, one day you still want million. If you don't work on it, you will steal the office document and turn the company to your own. You, don't, you are lying to people. You are, you, are, you are lying to yourself. You are destroying your own life. He said, tell me whether you sold the lamb for so much. She said, oh, yes, yes, for so much, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God bless you, sir. Then Peter said to her, how is it that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Look, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door. And they will carry you two out. Verse 10. Then immediately she fell down at his feet, breathed at last, and the young man came in and found her dead and carried her out, buried her by her husband. Verse 11. So great fear came upon all the church and all who had these things. Now, now, this is at the end of it, death. But sometimes people don't experience death. They can experience financial death. 